Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I've got something kind of neat for you guys. We haven't done one of these in a long time, so I thought it'd be uh, a good idea to share it with you today. Okay, back in the old days, we used to make a boatload of carve top single cutaway guitars and we're actually doing another one for a friend of ours. And um, so we had to drag out some of the old templates and stuff that we use. And this one's a little bit different because uh, it is going to have a Floyd Rose, which makes the the rest of this a little bit um, uh, actually considerably different from uh, um, from a standard uh, Les Paul style guitar. Particularly because the bridge height needs to be basically nothing, um, as opposed to a half inch to five eighths in order to use a tunematic and stop tail. But enough of that, what we're going to do today is we're going to um, get started on the carve top. Now you'll also notice that this has a very slim profile considering of course that a bunch of this maple is going to get carved away. So um, this is going to be a slim Les Paul style guitar with a Floyd. Um, and you know that's kind of one of the things we do here, stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Um, you can get slim Les Pauls, or at least you could, and you can get Les Pauls with Floyds, uh, at least you could, yeah, but I don't think I've ever seen a slim Les Paul style guitar with a Floyd, certainly not with our headstock. Anyway, so let me show you what we're going to do first, and then let's do it. All right, remember how I said that we used to do a lot of these? Well, we did, and uh, in fact, we did so many that we made this template set to uh, help us uh, establish first the carve on the um, the single cutaway carve top and if you ever go to like um, you know like a Les Paul forum you'll see this in the uh, Luthery and, and guitar building stuff uh, it's it's a pretty common thing um, anyway we made them out of three quarter inch MDF because we actually before we got my beloved pin router we used to actually ride a bearing along here and after we did it a few times like that we're like you know it doesn't have to be exactly right it just has to be close so I've got my uh, three quarter inch bit chucked up into my uh, my my beloved pin router and we're just gonna kinda walk through these and we're not they don't need to be exactly perfect we're gonna get them as best we can what we're really looking for is start the contour and uh, get the depth right so that when we grind the rest of, the rest away by hand um, it will be easier, so let's get started. All right, I got my center lines on here, and now I'm just gonna just draw some lines, and I'm gonna take a sixteenth of an inch off everywhere where there's not this line. Okay, we've got all of our steps in, and as you can see, this isn't exactly the most uh, um, accurate process. All we really want to do is eliminate some of this material, and each step is a sixteenth down. So we've removed um, seven sixteenths worth of stuff, and now we're going to add a two degree angle from the front of the guitar to right back here at this line. Um, and that will kind of help establish some of the carve too. Um, a regular Les Paul has a 
like around a four degree neck angle and a two and a half to 2.2 degree pickup plane and then it's flat at the bridge. Since we're not using the tunematic and stop tail, we're just gonna go with the two, uh, actually 2.2 degree angle. We've got my sign plate ready to go here. And this won't take long because we removed a bunch of material here. So let's do it. So we've got our 2.2 degree plane here. We've got a bunch of um, uh, steps in the body. And I was going to save this for the next episode, but uh, Ian walked in and we said, you know what, let's just do it for this one. So I've got my, um, uh, my angle grinder and I've, this has like a, a sandpapery kind of thing on it. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do this. I might not even have to clamp it down. I think my sandpaper thing is dull. I'm gonna to switch tools because I think this guy might be getting a little dull. So we're switching to this guy and we'll see. We don't do a lot of these anymore so we don't use them very often. in here but you can see that we're starting to develop that bell carve and you will notice that when I was using this tool I was actually coming around here and I want the I want the carve to come down and then back up again so I really kind of angle that in there and um, it's as simple as that all right so we're getting there uh, and as you can see this is starting to take shape now um, that's quite enough grinding I think we're going to go back and uh, we'll attack this with some 60 grit paper on an orbital sander and this will all kind of start to smooth out a little bit. But that is a video for next time. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Man, it is dusty in here. Um, if you like content like this, you might want to consider going over to our Patreon page and becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you cool stuff like this. If you can't do Patreon, we totally understand. Please share this video as, as many places as you possibly can. That helps us grow the channel too. And another great way to help us grow the channel is to check out our industry partners in the description below and show those guys some love and you might even get a little discount. Um, so until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that you should always wear a dust mask when you use these, even though I don't. And if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody.